that was a great meal. I'm glad you enjoyed it. The only time I eat this well is when my mom's in town and she takes me out to dinner. Is that so? Yeah, you kind of remind me of her. She enjoys making people uncomfortable, too. Well, you remind me of a boy I dated in college. No kidding. Sweet boy, very smart. If only he'd had money. Yeah, um, so, hey, speaking of money, how are you feeling about helping the physics department get a cryogenic centrifugal pump and molecular sieve? Well, I must say, you make a very persuasive case for it. Oh, good, good. And I'm seriously considering taking it to the next level. Terrific. Uh, great. What level is that? <laughs> okay, now you don't remind me of my mom. Okay, fine. I'll tell him. <clears throat> Leonard, Mrs. Latham's car is here for you. I won't be too late. I'm just going to make a final pitch for the funding and then say goodnight. Hold on. I have something for you. What's this? Just a few things you may need tonight. It's, uh, baby oil, condoms, and uh, <laughs> a little something I procured from the School of Pharmacology. They say it is to Viagra, as Viagra is to a green M&M. &M. I am not going to have sex with her. Maybe this will overcome your reluctance. I went on the internet and found a photograph of a 25-year-old Mrs. Latham to get your libido humming. <laughs> Check out those saddle shoes. Wow. Are you insane? I'm not going to prostitute myself just so we can get some new equipment. Oh, come on, why not? Oh. <laughs> Good night, Sheldon. Okay, given how much time you spend engaging in pointless self-abuse, you might consider just this once, using your genitalia to actually accomplish something. <laughs> Still won't shag the old lady, huh? No, but thank you for asking. <laughs> Good morning, slut. What? Oh, please, I recognize the walk of shame when I see it. All you're missing is a little smeared mascara and a purse with panties wadded up in it. What's going on? Oh, nothing's going on, excuse me. Are you just getting home? Yeah. Oh, that's a good sign, right? Oh, yeah. I'm so proud of you. You sold yourself out like a common street walker. No, I didn't do it for the money. She stiffed you? I believe that's what your roommate did to her. What? Again, read the book we gave you. No, I mean, I, I, I got the money first. Smart. Get paid up front. Yeah, I think you have a real knack for gigolo work, Leonard. I'm, I'm gonna go lie down. It's a good idea. Get your rest. There are a lot more rich old ladies out there, and Daddy needs a new linear accelerator. <laughs> I, I thought he didn't learn anything from his relationship with you. Another compliment. Learn to recognize them. 